is up Fishaholics and uh, today I'm just working my way down the south side of Montauk and uh, today I'm gonna be doing some surf casting for some schooly summer stripers with my buddy Joe right here in front of me there he is the one and only back home from Roxbury beat on we call him or Brandon back from uh, back home from Roxbury and uh, today we're out in Montauk like I said and uh, I got another guy out there some competition trying to catch some fish beautiful conditions end of the outgoing beginning of the incoming there should be some fish here let's make it happen today I'm going to be using my 150 gold band stall rigged with my Ben door surf system spinning surf casting rod by St. Croix and then I have a 20 pound test blue label seagull fluorocarbon leader tied with a uni knot to 30 pound test green moss power pro braid and then I have a three quarter ounce white bucktail rigged with a four inch red and white Uncle Josh pork rind. That should probably get the job done. Oh, Joe just hooked up on the first cast. Would you look at that? Oh, he lost them. He lost them. He broke off the first fish of the day. And Joe just said that fish was ripping drag. But uh, I guess Joe didn't tie his knot too well. Don't worry about it. It happens. <laughs> happens to the best of us. It probably was like a 30-inch striped bass and uh, most of the fish right now on the south side are going to be schoolies oh beat on just hooked up brandon this is weird i i haven't hooked up and i'm casting right on the spot you want me to get him i got gotcha. you Grab, uh, grab them in the mouth and uh, hold them up for me. It's a nice little schoolie, nice healthy fish. Hold them up. There you go, not bad. Get them back in the water, let's catch some more. There he is, fish on. I must have hooked this striper in only like two feet of water. So today's video is really not gonna be, you know, lunker hunting for big striped bass. It's just gonna mainly be schoolie stripers. And, uh, you know, if I'm lucky, maybe a small keeper bass. Oh. Woo! Nice, healthy, early AM striped bass right there on that small little bucktail. Woo! See you later, baby. My buddy Brandon here, he just hooked a uh, keeper fluke, what it looks like. And uh, yeah, this is definitely like a 19 or 20 inch fluke. Nice fish, Brandon. You wanna keep them? I don't really need them, but if you want them, you can have them. All right, good. We'll throw them back then. There he goes. All right, guys. Well, uh, surf casting this morning wasn't really too hot. I only caught one striper. My buddy Brandon only caught one striper. Joey had one striper on that was a little bit bigger than a schoolie fish, and it broke him off on a rock. And uh, then also Brandon caught a, uh, you know, 19, 20 inch fluke, which is pretty sweet. And, uh, you know, usually you can catch a few fluke on the south side if, um, you know, you're lucky. You know, I really haven't targeted fluke on the south side, but, uh, you know, after seeing a 20 inch fluke come in like that, maybe, uh, you know, I'll give it a shot. But anyways, you know, Brandon and Joey are out on the end of the west jetty here at Montauk Inlet or the, you know, west wall. 
and uh, you know I'm just working my way out. It took me a little bit longer to uh, get out here on the rocks because I had to re-rig my uh, light tackle surf casting rod here. So I pretty much just downsized. Right now I'm fishing with a quarter ounce white bucktail with a cut white Uncle Josh pork rind, and then I'm using my Mojo Inshore seven foot six medium power fast action spinning rod by St. Croix from Ramsey Outdoor Store rigged with my Pen Battle 2 2500 spinning reel. My favorite light tackle, you know, surf casting or, uh, you know, fishing from a jetty, you know, set up here. And uh, hopefully I can catch some flukes, sea robin, and, uh, you know, maybe some schoolie striped bass here. I'm kind of trying to just kill a little bit of time before my afternoon charter. I have to take, uh, you know, some customers out fishing to uh, try and catch some big striped bass off uh, Montauk and uh, that charter's at 12. Right now it is uh, 9.30, so I got a little bit of time. I specifically like to target Montauk Inlet when there's very little current with light tackle gear like this because then I can effectively fish this small little quarter ounce bucktail along the bottom to uh, you know try and catch fluke. If there's too much current, say the tide is coming in or the tide is going out, and uh, you know it's really windy today is like a flat calm day with very little wind you know but if it's really windy and a lot of current you can't fish light tackle equipment like this and a small little bucktail effectively along the bottom to catch fluke or sea robin striped bass you know you really don't have to fish along the bottom so pretty much in all conditions you can fish the inlet here and catch stripers but right now with the conditions that i have probably my best you know opportunity for catching fish would be to work this bucktail along the bottom for uh, fluke or sea robin. You want this bucktail swimming, you know, anywhere from, you know, five to six inches up above the bottom. And uh, always closely watch my rod tip because when I lower it, I'm dropping that bucktail down. When I'm jigging it or I'm raising my rod tip, I'm bringing the bucktail up. And, you know, 90% of the time, just when you bring that bucktail up and let it fall, that's usually when a fish is going to hit it, whether it's a sea robin or a fluke. You had something? Really? Watch uh, let me show you how it's done. Yeah, same. Mine's a little smaller, but it doesn't make a difference really. You probably couldn't cast a you know a smaller jig like mine. There he is, fish on. All right, guys, this is a pretty heavy fish. First cast out here on the end of the West Jetty. Oh, he's trying to get me under the rocks. Yeah, it's Sea Robin. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Woo! Sea Robins are pretty cool. All right guys, so if you're fishing on jetties like this or rocks, I strongly recommend you should have corkers on or something or strong spikes that you can you know, get a grip on the rocks. But today I'm fishing in flip-flops and these rocks are slippery, but a good thing to do sometimes is to step on the barnacles and the barnacles will give you traction so you can get right down near the water. You, you want that jig to go all the way down to the bottom. So wait till your line goes slack and then, you know, then start working it right along the bottom. And if you feel like you're too far off the bottom, then just drop your rod tip, let it sink a little bit. Oh, there was a bite right there. There he is, got him. Might be a fluke. Ah, oh, sea robin. Little guy. Better than catching nothing. See you later, buddy. There he goes, sliding down the rock. Joe hooked up. Joe's got one. Oh, Joe got the first fluke of the day. Well, actually the second fluke. That's actually a keeper. Looks like a keeper. Let me measure him. All right, well, that was pretty sweet. Joey got like a 17, 18 inch fluke. I uh, forgot my ruler to uh, measure the fluke so we could keep it. So to play it safe, we just threw it back. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
there is. Yeah. This might be a fluke. Never mind, it's probably a sea robin. Yeah, it's a sea robin. A little bit bigger one. Hammering them. Trash fishing at its finest. Oh! That one spit the hook. <laughs> really? You can cast right where I cast. There you go. Sometimes it's good to copy me. Oh, double header. Double header. Look at that. Yeah, these sea robins are stacked here. Absolutely stacked. Brandon's got on, he's hooked up. Watch me a fluke. If you catch a fluke. Oh no, it's a sea robin. There you go. Sea robin city. Little guy, this is a 50 pound striped bass bait. Would be perfect. Striped bass love sea robins, like big ones do. Alright guys, so we're starting to get a little bit of current inside the inlet. So hopefully if there's uh, any stripers around, I'll be able to catch a couple before I have to go. It's a little after 11 p.m. and uh, I have to pack it in at around 11.30. And, uh, you know, we were just tired of the sea robin fest. You know, usually the first five are fun, but then after that, it just gets, like, repetitive. So we're uh, hunting for stripers now. probably gonna be pretty hard to catch a striper though because it's like midday tons of bait really clear water I don't know if we're gonna be able to get a bite from a striper if they're here we saw a small school of stripers swim by but you know they weren't interested in our bucktails lots and lots of little silver side minnows around if we had a fly rod that would probably be the best there's one right there why are you orange casting? You didn't see him come up? There he is, right here. Got a follower, got a follower. Got a follower. There's two of them. You see him? Look, he's looking at your jig, Joe. He's following it. He's looking at it. Oh, there's two of them. There was two little schoolie stripers in about two feet of water here. All right, Fishaholic, so I'm going to call it. For the filming for the day i hope you guys enjoyed this video of uh watching brandon joe and i catch some stripers and some fluke on the south side then coming to the inlet here and catching some sea robin and one fluke joe got one fluke and uh, there are stripers here and there's a ton of bait but the water is just crystal clear so uh, we can't get any bites and i've got to go joe and brandon have to go back to jersey but uh, anyways guys thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and look in the description for any more information about this video and the tackle that i was using and uh, never forget, live to fish, fish to live. I'll see you guys later.